What's up guys, Adam Saxon here with Guy in the Cube, and today we're gonna to take a look at how to install, configure, and publish reports to Power BI Report Server, the May 2017 preview. That's coming up. Okay, Power BI Report Server is out. The preview has been updated, and here's how you can actually install, configure, and publish reports to it. And we're gonna to get to a point where you can see this. The install is pretty quick. All you have to do is go to the download page and download Power BI Report Server.exe. Once it's downloaded, you can go ahead and run that, and the installer will come up. This is a standalone install. You don't need to have SQL Server available during the install. You'll need that during the config. So we can just go ahead and install Power BI Report Server. If you have an existing report server in your environment, you can upgrade that to Power BI Report Server. Although if it's a production system, I don't recommend doing that as this is still a preview. You can also install this side by side with an existing report server. It will be installed as an instance name of PBIRS. You'll see that when you go into the report server configuration manager. Okay, so the install wizard just has a few screens that you can go through. There's the EULA. There's also a spot where you can go ahead and change the path of where this gets installed to. And then once everything's done, we can just run it. On my system, it took about maybe 30 seconds to a minute to run, so it will go very quickly for you. This just lays down the bits on your box. It doesn't do anything else. Once the install's done, you'll have the option to configure the report server. When you do that, it will bring up the report server configuration manager. In the report server configuration manager, you're gonna to wanna to set up your web service URL and your web portal URL. After that, you're gonna to have to configure your database. If your SQL database is local on the same box with the Power BI report server, you should be good to go and you can configure your database. For me, my SQL server is on a different box and one thing I had to do is change the service count from virtual service to network service in order for the scripts to run successfully. So you may have to do that on your box. But once that's done, we can go to the database tab create a new report server catalog database. And once that's done, we should be able to browse to the web portal. If you're browsing to the report server from a remote box, you may also need to open up some firewall rules to get it to work either for HTTP or HTTPS, depending on how you configure the URLs. To browse to the report server, all you need to do is open up a browser, go to the machine name slash reports. On my box, it was gynacube rs slash reports and then the Power BI Report Server web portal should come up. If you're familiar with Reporting Services 2016, this web portal will look familiar to you, but it's branded Power BI. And in my case, it's empty because I just installed the report server. So we need to create a report and publish that. To create a report, we need to download the Power BI desktop that's optimized for Power BI Report Server. You can do that by going back to the download page. You're gonna have two options for Power BI desktop. One is 64-bit, one is 32-bit. I run on a 64-bit platform. I don't know if anyone's actually running 32-bit anymore. Once you download that, you can install it. This can exist side-by-side -side with the Power BI desktop for the Power BI service. And when you install it, you will see an icon on your desktop that says Power BI desktop and in parentheses report server. That's how you can tell the difference between the two. When you run it, the dialog, the launch dialog in there will also say Power BI report server. And inside of Power BI Desktop itself, in the title, you will see Power BI Desktop in parentheses, report server. For this preview, you can only connect to an analysis services live connection, either multidimensional or tabular. More data sources will be coming, but for right now, it's just analysis services. So make sure that you have either a multidimensional cube or a tabular model available for you to create a report with. Once you've created your report, you can actually just go to File, Save As, and save it to a Power BI report server directly, or you can save it locally on your box. I went ahead and saved it to my report server directly. And when I did that, I can refresh the web portal and I'll see my report listed. If your analysis services box is local on your machine, everything should be good to go. You shouldn't have additional configuration. If analysis services is remote, you will either need to configure your report server to use Kerberos authentication. So you have to do everything that's involved with that. I have another video I'm gonna to link to that shows how to do that. Or you can actually store your credentials locally by clicking on the ellipse and going to manage and supplying the credentials for your data source. I'll actually have another video that I go into that more specifically, so you can check that out later. Once that's done, we can go ahead and run the report and it should come up just fine. Within Power BI Desktop, if we wanna change the report, we can actually open directly from the report server. 
We can make the changes that we need, save that back to the report server. And when we refresh the web portal and go to that report again, it should show those changes. Okay, my question for you today is, what are you excited about the most with Power BI Report Server? What are you looking forward to? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If it's your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for more great videos from both Patrick and myself. And as always, thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.